Chasing Flames by Kaya H. Okay, I know I may be a bit of a troublemaker, but it's not my fault. A freaky man in a weird mask appeared in front of me. And I think from the way I said I was a troublemaker, kinda has to do with danger. So me and my friends chased him. Okay, in case you're still wondering, let me tell you from the beginning. And no, this is not a comedy club. Maybe. My name is Kylie. I'm 18 and I've always been a troublemaker. Here's a hint why. I've been kicked out of 18 schools, and some before the grade ended. I also hear people whisper that about me. I've been told that people say it behind my back. I've got only two friends, and they are exactly like me, trouble and into goth. Like me, they've been kicked out of a lot of schools. Well, you get the point. We're bad and goth. My friends' names are Cassidy and Caitlin. We, and we love being daredevils, no matter if, we're get, if we will get into big trouble or possibly get ourselves killed. So here's how it went down. I was sitting on my old cracked up front step when a man in a shiny black and white mask appeared in front of me magically and took off faster than the speed of light, like he had super speed or something, without a word said. Then my two friends sprinted up to me. Freaky thing, I gasped like a girly girl. And in surprise and amazement over the fact that my friends saw that I that 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 weird yet freaky man was with me. And they asked in a laughing voice, Who was that? I dunno, I replied. Maybe we should follow him, I suggested. Yes they both yelled, and that's when the action started. As we were chasing him, we stopped roughly when Captain Weirdo jumped into a very, very deep hole, like a construction hole. Sh should we jump? Caitlin asked in a scared voice, and I walked over to her and slapped her. Yes, I yelled at her, and we jumped. When we stopped falling, we cracked the bottom. Ow, I whispered to myself. The place we were in was dark red with fiery glowing torches. Where are we? Cassidy asked. I know, the underworld, I yelled. What? The underworld? How? They both yelled. I don't know, I yelled back. And that's when we saw him take a left. Let's go, I said, and we sprinted after him as fast as we, as we could. But in the boots we were wearing, it was hard. But at least we tried our best. We, we were slow, but we made it to the maze where he was. Go to luck, he yelled in a growly voice. Yeah, we're going to need it. I thought to myself, let's go, Cassidy yelled at us, and we went into the maze. And when we first entered, it got hard right away. We had to face these things that looked like a couple of daggers spinning around, and then, the, and then some things that looked like axes still spinning. And this is where it got tragic. When we were facing the axes, my friends got too tired to run, so they stopped while bending down, and I stopped. Come on, you'll die if you stop. I yelled at them, but they just said go. <clears throat> I nodded. And when I started running again, I looked back, and my friends were on the ground, headless. As soon as I find this guy, I'm going to knock his teeth out for killing my friends. And without my two friends, I'm alone. I thought to myself, <clears throat> and he turned left again. Where is this guy taking me? I said to myself. When I took a left as well, I saw this guy on a stage thing, holding my mouth, tied up, and her mouth was in a ripped plastic bag, tying her so she could only mumble. And he was holding her by the ear, by her ear. I remember my mom died a week before I was four because of a heart attack. Mom? I said in a whispery voice. Let her go, I yelled. He untied her mouth, and she came walking up to me. She's a mess, I thought to myself. She's a mess. Her hair all in knots, her clothes are ripped, I thought to myself. And she whispered in my ear, you have powers, use them. And she sounded like she was from the future, which technically she was, or at least my future. And then my dad came walking in, and a tear drizzled down my face. Dad, did you jump too? I asked. Sadly, yes, my, replied my father. Yeah, sadly. I said sarcastically, and my dad gave me a side look. How could you lie to me? Tell me I have powers now? And only now? Tell me you were out doing groceries, 
I yelled at them. Well, we thought you were too young to know. And this guy appeared in front of me, too. So technically, I didn't lie because I was going to do groceries, they replied. Mama still doesn't change anything. What if I were to face this mask, dude? With nothing that I knew of. You are a disgraceful mother. I was way happier without you. I yelled at my mom. Well, excuse me for being a good mother, she yelled back. Good? You really think you're a good mom? Do you know how to think twice? Mom, I just think a good mother wouldn't keep secrets from their own kids. I yelled and cried at the same time. Well, you could have gotten you or someone else killed. She replied in the same voice as me. Kylie, Amanda, you both have to learn to put hurtful words in the past behind you. My dad yelled at us. Well, you know what, Dad? This past will always be in front of me. I replied, I feel sorry for myself that I ever met you again. I said to my mom, Me too, but I feel sorry for myself that I even gave birth to you. My mom said, You know what? I'll take Dad, but not you, never you. I said, First let me know when you find your way out of the maze. She replied, Just as we were fighting, my two friends walked in and said, Kylie, we know how you feel. Our parents lied to us about our powers too. This guy is making us face tragic things when we won't be able to fight or defeat him. I thought for a moment and said to my mom, So you knew I was coming down here? And you wanted me to know now because this could be the most dangerous face of my life. I said, Exactly, my mom replied. Kylie, 225,890 people have been down here, and about 22,555 don't make it out alive. Caitlin said, Whoa, I replied, That many? I really hope I make it out alive. Us too, Kylie. You gotta help in this torturous place. We can all live happy lives again. You need to learn more about your powers, like how to control them, how to use them. If you want to be seen as a hero, this is a perfect time to bring us all back in the place that we belong. Please, Kylie, Cassidy cried. I'll think about it, I replied. As I got thinking, my friends walked in and said, Have you thought about it yet? No, it's only been five minutes, I yelled at them. You guys are really close to not being my friends anymore. Uh, sorry, I'm just frustrated and confused, I said. We know, they both said. Between me and my mom and my powers, I'm just a little on edge, I said. We still know, Kylie. They yelled at me. All right, all right, I said. Okay, I'll help you out of here, I said. Good, they replied. When Cassidy pulled open the door, the masked man tripped in. And as he was walking out, Cassidy said, Oh, great. Now he's going to try to make this harder for us. You know, harder to get out. When Cassidy walked out, Caitlin said, Remember, we still know. Yeah, I still know you know, I replied. I thought to myself for a moment, if this guy was going to make it harder, maybe I could make it easier by spying on him. As she was finishing her thought, Kylie wondered if her powers came with a curse or a blessing. Probably a curse, she said to herself. And she still wondered if saving her friends, her mom, and her dad would make people think different about her, like she wasn't a troublemaker. I don't want that. She said to herself, Wait, my train of thought keeps on getting cut off by another thought. What does that mean? I was now in like a bedroom that they had given me. Don't know why. I was starting to, I was starting a plan to spy and escape. Or as I call it, Kylie's spy and escape plan plan. Okay, okay, I know, weird name, and it's creepy to refer to myself in a third person. Anyway, back to business. My, f my plan for spying is follow him with using my invisibility powers. And my escape is to just use my powers. You know, like how I can see my future. My friends told me some of my powers, including those two. And that's that. My plan is done, I said to myself. Now what should be plan attack? Powers? Weapons? Nah, for powers, because I don't yet know. Because I don't know. Because I don't yet know how to fight with them. And I don't have any weapons. Ugh, powers, I said to myself. Mom! I yelled, even though she was in the room next to me. 
What? She yelled when she opened the door. I need you to help me learn to use my powers. I said. My mom thought. Okay, but first, why? She said. Because I'm going to help all of you out of here. I replied. My mom froze in amazement. What? She asked. Wait, I thought you said you were only going to help your dad and your friends, said my mom. Mom, I'll take you too, I yelled. But you're going to be a ghost, I said. Then take the ones who won't be a ghost, she replied. So just dad and my friends, I think, I replied. Okay, we'll get started tomorrow, she said. Great, I replied. I started training today. Surprisingly, it was easy and hard. Maybe training my powers is fun for me. And it's not like training, like exercising. And it's not training like exercise. And it's not the training like exercising, but like practicing on how to use them. And the worst part is, I had to learn stuff without being a slacker. Okay, fine. I admit, trying not to be a slacker is hard, but it also can be fun. After my break, I got back to doing more boring old learning, and then I got to practice what she taught me. I like being able to practice what she taught me, so here's how it works. She teaches me for an hour and a half, and then I get to practice for two hours. Sounds like a lot of work, huh? I like training, but for 30 minutes, I have to work out. And my break is like 10 minutes, so all in all, my training session is 3 hours and 40 minutes. One thing my mom said to me that was interesting is, when I go back up, I'll meet a really old angel, old angel named Mariko. My mom taught me that Mariko would help me deal with getting this stuff out of my head by relaxing. Cool, huh? Anyway... And then after, anyway, and then after that, more work. I have to spy on the mask man, and then plan my escape. And then time for plan attack. Kylie, we start training again tomorrow, first thing in the morning. My mom said, "Okay, mom." And can I learn more about Mariko tomorrow? I replied, "Sure." My mom replied back, "Great." I said, and we both walked away in separate directions. The next day, my mom taught me more about Mariko. Like, she would help me. Like, she could also teach me more than my mom could ever teach me about my powers. Mariko is my favorite thing to learn about in my three hours of training. After more learning about Mariko, I got to practice being relaxed with my powers and being patient. Because, because that's one of the things that Mariko will also teach me. Patience. After my training was done, I spied on the man in the mask and then planned my escape and then planned my attack. If my plan attack was use my power was my powers, maybe I could ask mom to show me how to use my most powerful one. When I asked my mom the next day to help me learn about my most powerful power, she totally lost it. Like she was yelling, using her powers to do something I can't tell you about. And then she started crying. Mom, it's the only way I might be able to attack the man in the mask, I said. Why the only way, she replied. Because I don't have any weapons. I replied back. Okay. But let me teach my original lesson. She said, okay. I said... After two hours, my mom taught me my most powerful power and how to use it. But she just told me how to use it, not what it is. I got, I got to practice using it, but I'm just confused on what it is. But once I was done practicing, she told me what it is. And cool thing, it is all my powers put into one. My training for the day is done, and I gotta say, it's fun learning without falling asleep during class. But the worst part is, my friends are probably going to think I'm not a slacker. Okay, not the worst part. The worst part is the whole school thinking I'm not a slacker. When my training and my planning was done, I kept on studying Mariko. Like how she could, like how she would help me. Because apparently my mom had some old textbooks. 
from when she was training. Anyway, I read on how she can help me relax and read more on how she can teach me more than my mom could ever teach me. I read that Madiko would teach me how to meditate. That is going to be when I'm advanced at relaxing. Hey, I wonder if Madiko is going to teach me not to be a daredevil. Well, I mean, it would be nice to fit in with the cool kids, I thought to myself. When I told my mom what I learned about Mariko, she laughed because that was going to be her lesson a day. How Mariko would teach me relaxation and how to relax. And how to use my power. And how to relax using my powers. I think Mariko is the coolest thing I've learned in my life. Yeah, I said coolest thing I've ever learned about. Okay, I listen to me learn my most powerful power. Is all my powers put in the one? But Mariko is the first thing that I've ever studied. I really like learning about Mariko. And I think my mom enjoys teaching me about her. Or she enjoys the fact that I'm engaged with learning about her. My mom enjoys teaching me a lot of Mariko sayings. Most of them are boring and lame. But at the same time, pretty interesting. After my training was done, my planning is still undone. I still have to spy on him, plan my attack, and then plan my escape. It's all still undone. I mean, I've started planning and spying, but I'm not done. Okay, I will t I'll tell you the reason why I'm, so f why I'm still far behind. My training, and I've been focusing on Mariko. This masked man was making, me, was making things that I'd always be using my most powerful power. The training, the training the next day was just a blast. Learning stuff that had nothing to do with Mariko, boring. Then training the stuff my mom had taught me, which was kind of fun. But the good news is, my mom said that the training will end within the next week. Yay! But the bad news is, my planning will take about another three weeks or so. Today's the day. We all go back up. I use my powers to defeat the man. And in the mask to defeat the ma man in the mask and save everyone. You may find this weird, but I calculated how long my plan, the masked man's plan, was done, and I ended up with today. As we were running through the maze, my friend asked, How do you know what's going to happen? Oh, you know me. Always find the easy way out, I replied. Oh, Kylie, they replied back. My mom would come with us to guide us through, like, when to use what power at what time. Kylie, this is where you defeat him and bring us back up by taking his, ma his mask, Caitlin said in a crying voice, and it's also time for me to go back to my horrible life in the underworld. My mom added, I walked over to her to her and give her the biggest hug I had ever given anyone. I know I'm goth, but I, I was sad. I cried into her chest and left tear marks on her shirt. Don't go, I whispered to her while I was still hugging her and crying into her shirt. She lifted my chin and said, you'll be fine. And at that point, I squeezed her so hard, even for a ghost, she couldn't breathe. I stuffed my head inside her chest and just cried. Kylie. I know you can have a change of heart, she was in my ear, but I don't know, I replied. Trust me, you do, she said. I just hugged her and cried. I was now defeating him, and it wasn't that hard, but it almost seemed like this, like his mask was magical. My friends kept on cheering me on. I kept on dodging his strikes with another strike. But then I thought to myself, maybe my most powerful power would be strong enough to defeat him. And with that, I defeated him. After I defeated him, the construction hole appeared again magically and took us all up magically. There were sparkles. And I thought of my mom. Forget that part. There were sparkles. And I thought of my mom. A tear drizzled down my cheek slowly. Before I knew it, I was back where I belonged. Where's Mariko? Where's Mariko? To be continued.